Julia Tyson, happy Derby Day. Jenny Fox. John Martin. What is up, Pauline? Good to see you. John was sending me pictures earlier from the church. Looks like uh, Martha Moore's trees are going in in the garden, so that should be beautiful. I think she called them a twisted wisteria. I can't remember. Hey, Rev. Should be really beautiful when they're when they're up and going. Hope that it is restful in South Carolina and quiet. Wait just a moment to let a few more folks log in and then we'll get going on page 115 with evening prayer right to Kathy K. Good to see you. Many board, many board, good to see you. You're here on Kentucky's, uh, Kentucky's, Kentucky's holiday, Derby Day. And I've got some radio and music from the river, which is not a big deal, but for those of you who are tuning in later, sometimes the, uh, the bots on Facebook pick up the music and delete or silence sections of the broadcast. So if you're listening along and all of a sudden there's a pause and silence, just wait and it'll pass. It just means that uh, some of the music from the river is copyrighted and they don't want it playing <laughs> in this video. The ah, John Martin. Mint juleps. Uh, a little later on. You don't want me doing worship on mint before. I, yeah, have a mint julep and then do worship. Having enough trouble with words today. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, later on, definitely. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. We're on page 115. If you would, don't forget to hit the share button down at the bottom. Invite other folks to worship with us. Page 115, Evening Prayer, Right 2. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And then on page 118, let us say the Phos Hilaron together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening is 139. That begins on page 794. Psalm 139, page 794. 
When you get there, let's read through that together. Let's see if I can adjust this light a little bit. All right, page 794, Psalm 139. Please read with me. Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You press upon me behind and before. Lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you, because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful, and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you, while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. They were fashioned day by day, when as yet there was none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my lifespan would need to be like yours. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! You that thirst for blood, depart from me. They speak despitefully against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those, O Lord, who hate you? Do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. Look well whether there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And this evening, our second reading is from the book of Proverbs. Those short, pithy wisdom sayings. This is chapter 4, verses 7 through 18. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. And whatever else you get, get insight. Prize her highly, and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a fair garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear, my child, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The Word of the Lord. Hey, Leonard. All right. Our canticle for the seat is on page 120. It's the short little song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis. When you get there to page 120, please join me in that.
Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue with suffrages A. Hey, Sue. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On page 123 is a collect for Saturdays. Please pray with me. O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 828, we'll pray prayer 44 together. Page 828, prayer 44. Page 828, prayer 44, for the future of the human race. O God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life, and give us new insights into your purposes for the human race, and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future, in accordance with your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, silently, aloud, or typed in the chat box.
in thanksgiving for this gorgeous day and for everyone gathered here. I lift up all of our concerns, our hopes, our joys. I just ask that you would bring healing to those in need, that you would bring peace to those in need, and energy and joy to those in need. That we would all rest well tonight and wake up ready to serve you and worship in the morning. Amen. Page 126 is the prayer of St. Chrysostom. When you get there, let us pray that together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. All right, friends, they're playing my old Kentucky home. Hasn't started yet. Still got time. Hope that you have a blessed evening. Uh, let's see, and I will see you tomorrow morning, those of you who are at church, uh, at 9.30. And then, honestly, I don't remember who is doing live worship tomorrow, but we also have live worship here at 9.30 as well. So, in person or on Facebook. Hope to see you then. Blessings, friends.